Hi, we're back. World Health News Today. I'm Don Belarjan. Well, it is summer and water activities are a great way for kids to get exercise and have fun during the summer months. But in the blink of an eye, that fun can quickly turn to tragedy. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, two-thirds of all drownings occur between the months of May and August. World Health News Today reporter Judy Alley has more on what parents and pool owners can do to help promote water safety. Ten-year-old boy drowns. Uh, four-year-old drowns, 18-month-old drowns. The email alerts Helen Haugie receives on child drownings are grim, horrific, and often hard to read. Every day there's just list after list in all these varying circumstances. It just, it just makes us all the more passionate about wanting to save these lives. Haugie is an administrator for All Safe Pool Barriers in Anaheim, California a company that manufactures protective pool coverings like safety nets, automatic covers, and fencing. For over two decades, she's made child drowning prevention and education her top priority. I think that the most important thing that people recognize is, is that body of water out there is like a, it's like a landmine. You know, if you had a big, if your backyard had a big circle in it and it was filled with, with landmines, would you let your child back there to play? No, you wouldn't. According to a recent report by the Consumer Product Safety Commission, drowning is the leading cause of death in children ages 1 to 4. 65 percent of those drownings occur in the child's family pool. 33 percent of them happen in a neighbor or friend's pool. 70 percent happen while in the care of their parents. 75 of those children were missing from view for just five minutes or less. It's statistics like these that frightened pool owner Shannon Heaton. We looked for homes for probably a year and my criteria was a house without a pool because I had an 18-month-old little girl at the time, so did not want a pool. But after a little convincing from her husband, they decided to take the plunge on the condition the pool and the spa were both outfitted with safety net covers. <laughs> But experts say more pool owners need to jump into pool safety whether they have kids or not. Studies show that widespread use of pool fencing would prevent up to 90% of childhood pool drownings. Adding more layers of protection like door alarms and locks can help reduce that number even further. But the best drowning preventative measures are the watchful eyes of parents or guardians. It has to be adult supervision. Even if you have a fence and a net and a pool alarm and whatever, you still need need adult supervision. You, you can't leave your kids out there. A message Haugie hopes will hit home for pool owners and parents now, so they aren't hit with tragedy in the future. For World Health News Today, I'm Judy Alley. Well, here's a few more tips for you. Experts say to always be sure to remove toys in and around the pool when it's not in use. Never ever use flotation devices as a substitute for adult supervision. Do not consider that young children are drown proof just because they've had swimming lessons. And if your child's missing, you can't find them, look in the pool first.